I've spent quite a lot of time flip-flopping between different camera purchases, trying to find my ideal everyday camera, the one I'm going to want to use day in, day out for the rest of my life. Now, usually, these sorts of videos involve someone showing off their Leica collection, and granted, there's been times where I've watched those videos and thought that if I could only afford an M6, I'd finally be happy. But over the last year, I've come to realise that my ideal camera has been sitting right under my nose this entire time. I mean, you can read the title of this video, you already know what it is. The Olympus OM40, also sometimes called the OMPC, is a 35mm SLR that was first released by Olympus in 1985. It takes OM mount lenses, of which there was a huge back catalogue, and has built-in metering for both manual and automatic shooting modes. It comes in a rubberized black finish, none of that hipster silver here, and also has automatic DX code reading for if you're feeling especially lazy. Now on paper, none of that sounds particularly exciting. I mean, why choose this over some of the other more overrated, I mean well-known cameras, such as the Canon AE-1 or Pentax K1000? I mean, I didn't even buy this camera, I was given it for free by someone that was getting rid of it. The short answer to why this is my ideal 35mm camera is that it just works for me and how I shoot. I've owned this camera for nearly three years now, and it was in fact the second film camera that I ever used after spending a few months with my dad's old Pentax MV. In those three years I've put countless rolls through it, taken it to multiple countries, and only had the batteries die at one really inopportune moment. Jokes aside, I actually like this camera so much that it puts me off buying any other 35mm camera? I mean, who needs a Leica when you can have this plastic beast? There are really two main pros to this camera, which I think are the main reasons that I've used it as much as I have. Firstly, it has one of the best light meters of any film camera I've ever used. It's incredibly accurate and that makes shooting in aperture priority mode a breeze. I've put slide film through it without ever taking the camera off auto and had all the photos come out perfectly exposed. Secondly, it's pretty damn small. And I don't just mean compared to a behemoth like the Pentax 6-7. It's so small that it can almost fit in the palm of even my tiny hands. It's so unobtrusive both to carry and to use that I think that's just the key factor of why I take it with me almost everywhere I go. Now if you're a film purist looking for that sleek mechanical perfection of a Leica or an early Nikon F, this obviously is not the camera for you. It's a plasticky SLR and it doesn't work without batteries. Design-wise, I think you can tell it was made in the 1980s, which I actually quite like, but may not be what you're looking for in your camera. People like to say that the single-digit OM cameras like the OM4 are superior because they have better build quality, but I have put my OM40 through some pretty tenuous situations, including a brief encounter with a granite paving slab, and it's carried on trucking just fine. This video isn't about trying to convince you that the Olympus OM40 is some best-kept secret of the film photography world. I do think that Olympus SLRs are quite underrated, and will probably remain so until some big name makes a YouTube video about them and ups the prices 400%. As much as I love this camera, I will happily concede that it doesn't really do anything better than other cameras. This chunk of 80s black plastic nostalgia holds a special place in my camera collection because it's the one that I'll always grab if I just need a camera. For me at least, it gets completely out of the way and lets me just focus on shooting which is why it's accompanied me through so much of my daily life in the past three years. It may not be perfect, and it's certainly not expensive, but the Olympus OM40 is the right camera for me.